Hi, this is Sue's Journal Adventures. Um, just a quickie little project tonight. <laughs> I've, got, <laughs> I've got my pyjamas on and they're really, really long. Sorry, I just got my pyjama legs stuck under the wheel of the chair. Right, so I'm just going to make a little vintage style envelope and I'm going to use this. I've had a fantastic day today. I've done nothing but, well, I did a bit of reading this morning um, and basically I've just been playing and I've had such fun. I can't even tell you. You would not believe what I have done today. <laughs> I started off doing a video, um, making things with lace backgrounds, which you've all probably seen. Then I decided to try and see if I could make my own, you know, like pearly doodles or stickles, you know, the glue dot things, pearl dots. I've got tons of mica. So I started thinking, well, could I potentially use that mica with glue to make like little pearly drops? Um, I've loads of these little bottles. So I thought I'd put some mica in there and some Fabri-Tac. It was way too thick. And I think the um, I think the mica made it even thicker. So it took forever to come out. And then when I were doing the dots, they'd got like the long stringy tails on them. So then I thought, well, add some acetate, acetate, acetone. I always get these mixed up. Acetone to make it a bit thinner. So I did. Um it don't work fantastic, but if you do the pam up, down, up, down, up, down technique, you can get really nice shiny dots. So then I started playing because I bought loads of these little bottles from Timo or somewhere, Shein. I started making my own little mica sprays and I'm so chuffed. I'm so chuffed because I did this before I went, I went, did this, I spritzed this and I went downstairs for my tea and when I came back up I don't know if the light is catching it or if you can even see it but it's really shimmery and gorgeous but as you can see there it it doesn't fully rub off and smudge this that's all really dry now isn't smudging but it does come off but I figure if I spray it with some light um, hairspray maybe or I know people will say like a setting spray or something, but I don't have that. This is an envelope I did. Just ignore that blob. These I spritzed from a distance. So you get a lovely speckled, shimmery, gorgeous envelope. That one I kind of spritzed a bit too close. And then I did this gorgeous butterfly and just spritzed it with the, the peacock spray. I don't know if the light's catching that or not. But yeah, it's beautiful. So I've been playing with them. I've been making fancy dancy little paper clips. <laughs> I've been doing all sorts today and I cut some stuff out of um, a gardening book. So I've been making tags. I've, oh, I've had an absolutely fabulous crafty day. But I've lost my block. So I don't know quite how I'm going to stamp this. But anyway, we'll just try. Um... So I'm making a vintage envelope, <laughs> which is nothing to do with what I've been chatting about. But I've just had such fun today and I can't believe how many things I've done. I've made mica sprays, I've made glue pearly dot stuff and oh, it's been fab. I've been right enjoying my little self today. I'm going to try and get this on here without ooh, making a mess of it, hopefully. Um, actually, just give me... Um, that will that do? Not quite, it's not big enough. This, this will do. Just press it down with something because I kind of would like a nice image. Just hoping that I'm stuck to the thing then. Please come out nice, please come out nice. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, rubbish. But anyway. If the image has come out, I just don't like the look. She can't really see the flower because of my thing. But anyway, I don't care. I'm in one of them moods today where I'm just carrying on regardless. 
I do not care. I've had so much fun. Apart from when I went downstairs, I thought to myself, do you know what? I'm going to treat myself to a pizza tonight. So I just sat down, phone in hand, and then there was a cat in the house. Meow, meow, meow. I want to go out, want to go out. Went to the patio doors to unlock the door and let him out. And I've been left a present. A very unpleasant, pleasant, pleasant present. <laughs> A very unpleasant present. A half-eaten magpie. Yep, half-eaten. And at first I looked and I'm like, oh, what is that in the middle of my land? like, oh my days, are you kidding me? Just as I'm about to order my tea. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Simba, for the half-eaten. I, I think it were a magpie. It looked like a magpie. I didn't look too much because I'm thinking I'm I'm going to have my tea. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to be looking at that. So I have the wonderful pleasure in the morning of going out in the garden and bagging said half-eaten bird. So I'm really looking forward to that. Went all quiet then, you know. That was very strange. One minute she's gabbing red off, next minute she's like, "What? Well, I'm just, I'm posh writing." Um, what can we call it? What can we call it? Park ninety two. Park Avenue. Of course, you've got to live on Park Avenue, haven't you? Um, London. Let's live in London, mate. Come on, live in London. That's it. That's all I can do, really. And then I'm even going to go so far as to... Oh, my days, I can't get in here for all my microspace. <laughs> I need to sort of put things away and move stuff off my desk, really. Gives a little stampy stamp. Just something, you know, cool that will go on here and look real and authentic and old. Mm, that appears to have a real and authentic and old. Well, we actually do, but I just can't find it at the moment. Well, that's actually a real one. Um, slap a bit of... Yes, I've been busy. I've been crafting. I've done a bit of reading this morning and watched a couple of videos and crafting, crafting. And and, um, and I've even done some little reels on um, Instagram. I'm really bummed about them eel eels. Goodness sake, I can't even talk. Those reels on Instagram because you can put music to them and it's great because you don't have to listen to my voice and, you know, you can just watch this reel with some nice music in the background. And I used to be able to save the reel to my phone and share it elsewhere, but it won't let me do that now. And obviously copyright laws and stuff like that. Um... I don't know if I'd be able to share it to um, YouTube anyway, but um, yeah, it wouldn't let me. So, sorry, I'm just looking for something. <laughs> um, mm, where are they? I've forgotten where they are. I've really, really forgotten where they are. I think they're in here. I think they're in here. So, oh gosh. This always falls out. This always falls out. These always fall out. I think I just put a little bit of glue on the back of them. Just glue stick. That always falls out. I just want a... Oh, would you believe it? Oh, it is. It's a cool black ink, please. Black, black, black. Where's the black gone? Oh, my days. It's one of them nights, is it? Where's the black ink? Everything's out on my desk, but it's not. But it is but it's not. <laughs> it's really not. Where is it? Oh, my giddy aunt. I'm going to have to get another black ink out. Dear me. That's brown. That's black. Gosh, all this for an envelope. And I don't have a block. <laughs> We're in right chaos. We're in chaos, but I've had such fun. Such fun, apart from the dead bird. I'm really not looking forward to cleaning that up tomorrow. I can tell you that for now. Ugh. I have to literally walk out 
with a black bin liner in my hands, look the other way and just put the bin liner over the bird and pick it up because I'm like, ugh, yak. Right, <laughs> I've got this. Um, I'm going to glue this down. Yes, I know that's weird, gluing an envelope shut, but I am weird. What can I say? <laughs> so, so you have had a busy day, crafty day, but oh, so fab. I'm just buzzing, I'm buzzing um, with all these ideas and stuff and cutting things out and oh, fun, fun, fun. Right, what I'm going to do with this, I will show you because this is just a quick video. Stick that back in there and shut it and put it away. No, I haven't cleaned the stamp and no, I don't care. I'm just trying to be efficient-ish. Right, I'm now going to fold this in half. Only so I know where to cut with my big scissors. Come on. No. Oh, no. They've been sat there the whole time. I've been doing videos and stuff. Never mind, I'll use these. I'm not going to be foiled by a pair of scissors. Right, so I'm going to cut right up the middle of my beautiful envelope. Weird thing to do, isn't it? <laughs> Especially when you've just made it, So, What the heck are you cutting it in half for? Well, that's not very good because there's not much of the... Um, Oh dear me, there's not much of the address to see, so it's all on this side and the postmark isn't on this side. So, oh, anyway, so what I'm doing with this <laughs> is somewhere in my journal, it is maybe going to go on the edge of a page and it's going to be stuck down. Can you see? Whoopsie, I've got that much stuff on my desk. I hope you can see, yeah, it's going to be stuck down like so in a backwards L shape. So it can be a lovely tuck spot, but you've also got a pocket because it's an envelope, right? So it's going to be a pocket. That one would potentially look best, but the opening's at that side, but I suppose it doesn't matter. You can have them either side or you could have it at the top of the pit. No, that looks silly. Um, yeah, you could just cut a slither of the edge off and seal that side up. But the aim is to have a pocket at the edge and a tuck spot behind. It's a shame that that side doesn't look quite as cute as that side, but that's got the writing on it. So I guess that's the one that will be going in, maybe with some other decoration on the page. So that was it. That was quick, wasn't it? I love that butterfly. How cute would that look stuck on the corner of there? It would look really cute. Yeah, um, I like that envelope, by the way, that I did. I don't know if you can see it. I think you can see the sheen. It's really pretty. Um, once they dry, the dough, it doesn't actually smudge, but it does still come off a bit. So, yeah, I need to spray it with some hairspray. But there you go, a broken envelope. That's it. That's all I've got for you. I'm sorry. I'm all crafted out today. <laughs> Actually, the things that I made earlier um, with you guys, I always have a thought after I've come off camera, always. And we made this um, these pockets with lace with tags in, yeah? And then I got these doilies out that I'd got from Sheen for a quid. And they're, they're like coffee coloured. And I just thought, ooh, so if I put one of them on the page first... That'll look really, really nice. So there you go, little extra, little extras. That's the other one I made that's a swivelly one. They can go on the doilies. So I'm prepping for this year journal. I've got all my little paper clips. These are so cool. These paper clips are ones that you can, if you want to see, I'm on um, Instagram. So it's Journal Adventures, and you see me making them. It's just a very short, quick reel. Um, but they can either go at the top. Again, this is another idea from my porch prints, so it's not my idea. But they can stick out at the top of your journal, or you can have them sticking out of the side, obviously. 
it's up to you where you want to put them but they can stick out and I've done postcards butterflies and other little things so yeah they're on my IG if you want to go and take a look at them but for now that's it folks that's all folks da -da -da -da. so <laughs> <laughs> that's not the right tune but we can't do the right tune because then people sue you left right and center um oh, keep getting my trouser legs stuck right <laughs> thank you for watching and i will see you soon with more excitement and i'll see if these um now acetone added pearly doodles work a bit better and i'll let you know and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.